move the orange dot to 9 fourths on the number line. So let's think about this number line right here. This is 0, this is 3, so this must be 1 and 2. We need to go to 9 fourths. So there's two ways of thinking about 9 fourths. One way is to try to convert it to a mixed number. 4 goes into 9 two times, and you'll have 1 left over. So this you could view as 2 and 1 fourth. So you could say this is 2, or this is 1, 2, and then we have to go 1 fourth of the way between 2 and 3. So that looks like about 2 and 1 fourth. So you could think about it that way, or you could even view it as an improper fraction. So let's go by fourths. So that's 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, which is a whole, 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths, 8 fourths, which is equal to two wholes. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then we go from 8 fourths to 9 fourths. Either way, we get to that exact same point on the number line. Let's do a few more of these. Move the orange dot to 11 fifths on the number line. So we can do it both ways again. 5 goes into 11 two times, and then you have 1 left over. So you could call this 2 and 1 fifth. So we could go 1, 2, and then 1 fifth. Or we could just think of it in terms of fifths as an improper fraction. 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 5 fifths as a whole, 6 fifths, 7 fifths, 8 fifths, 9 fifths, 10 fifths. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 10 fifths is 2 wholes. 10 fifths and 11 fifths. I'm having more fun than I expected to with this exercise. Let's do one more. Orange dot to five halves on the number line. So this is one half, this is two halves, which is a whole. This is three halves. This is four halves, which is two wholes. This is five halves. Another way you could have thought about it, two goes into five two times with a remainder one. So this is two and one half as a mixed number. One, two, and one half as a mixed number.